we'll just go with that. It's a Friday. We'll make it short. And we'll do the fortune cookie day. And we'll go from there. Thanks for all your comments and questions. Um, they're good. So hopefully we'll cover them. So we'll open this bag. So this is you know, Fortune Cookie Friday. This is 5 a.m. Master Scrum. Please like and subscribe. Uh, got a little slow start. Trying to get things done with the door and stuff. Uh, but hey, we're having fun. And it's Friday. We should all celebrate. Don't forget, remind... Oh, I got a double thing. Got double. Uh, remind your team um, to tell us what you did fun over the weekend, right? Maybe they can raise Friday. Maybe you're like, okay, what kind of fun things are you going to do? Um, hey, I got double fortune for Friday, right? Double fortune. Is that good luck? I don't know. We'll see. Okay. From the fortunes in the fortune scheme. And what we do is we, we read the fortune and we see if this applies to Agile. And uh, we had a couple of good ones. You should be able to undertake and complete anything. Oh, wow. That's that's funny. So this is this is perfect. You should be able to, I love this one. So you should be able to undertake and complete anything. I would say, and people can comment later what this means, but I would say this goes your commitment. So if you commit to something to get done in the sprint, you should be able to complete it in the sprint, right? So I'm going to go with that as my relationship between the fortune cookie on Fortune Cookie Friday and Agile. You should be able to undertake and complete anything. So if you pull it into the sprint to work, you should be able to get it done in the sprint, right? There shouldn't be any excuses why you can't get it done. And everything designed in Scrum is that will help you get it done in the sprint. All right. Here's a second fortune cookie. And this one's got a little flaw. It's got a bug in it. You can't see it. It's got a bug. All the text, half the text is off. So I got to take my glasses off here. You never hesitate to tackle the most difficult problems. Pretty good. Most difficult, difficult problems. So this also has a, a thing in Agile. So don't hesitate to tackle the most difficult pro problems. And maybe that'll have to be a story. Um, in Agile, you don't put off the most difficult story in the sprint to the end of the sprint because you probably won't get it done. Now, you bring in you tackle it first thing. So it's funny how these fortune cookies really relate to Scrum and Agile, right? So you want to take those, you know, you never hesitate to tackle the most difficult problems. You know, don't take all the difficult problems up front because you do want to get some stuff done. You don't want all your developers working on the most difficult problems that take five days to get done. But you want to get at least one of them in the beginning. So one person says, I'll take the hard one for today. And next spring, maybe they flop them off. But you want to take at least one or two of the most difficult problems in the beginning of the sprint to give yourselves enough time to get it done and test it in the sprint. You do not want to put off your most difficult stories to the end of the sprint, like the last couple of days, and then it never gets tested and therefore never done per, per your definition done. And with that, that was fun. Um, closing out, um, 5 a.m. Master Scrum, please like and subscribe. Give us the the thumbs up. I got my little Eddie trophy here, a little thumbs up trophy. Um, and let your friends know. Ring the little bell. That way, when we do the show, you'll get an email. It's pretty neat how how your phones, I'm holding up my little phone, will broadcast that you're live.